I'm Kaplan America. Welcome to this month's auction at Kaplan Cycles. Buy a raffle ticket today for 10 bucks. Subscribe to the channel or I'll tase you. If you want to see your bike in the next Kaplan Cycles auction, give us a call. We'll buy your whole collection or one bike anywhere in the United States. Subscribe today or else. Holy shit, this thing is an absolutely fantastic machine. This is a test ride I did not want to end. I could have ridden this thing all day long. Easily the most fun triple Kawasaki I've ever ridden. This is a full frame up restoration. Over $9,000 in parts and labor has been invested. Fully documented, I have one receipt for 6,300, one for 18. I don't have the receipt for the, the paint job and the pipes but that was another close to two grand so nine thousand dollars in parts and labor um no expense spared it's an absolutely fantastic machine the uh 750 h2 the ones we've had through here those are a little bit violent and uh they, they don't seem because they have substantially more power they're, they're like seem to be a little more sketchy in handling this one actually seems to handle and ride beautifully and it's not terrifying riding it like the h2 is for most most people it, this is something you can ride all day and uh the just the, the note coming out of the exhaust pipes is intoxicating is a word i, I kept it keeps coming through my head it's just it's just you just want to keep revving it and hear it hear it rev and uh it has the twin air filters opening up the air box so you get this nice intake howl combined with the exhaust crackle it's 
nothing like a three-cylinder triple two-stroke. It's just absolutely fantastic. And I, I like the RDs and the RZs, but th there's nothing like the sound of that three-cylinder. Just a fantastic piece. The uh, I guess I'll start with the heart of the beast. The motor was completely dismantled down to the cases and rebuilt. Uh, you can see the cases were uh, professionally cleaned and painted. The carbs were professionally cleaned inside and out and jetted and rebuilt with the twin air free flow and filters. The chrome expansion chambers are brand new and in perfect condition. It's jetted for the chamber so it runs beautifully. The manic mechanic Jeff Castine himself jetted this thing. The, cylinder, uh, the cylinders were replaced with new replacement cylinders, new pistons, new rings, new top end gasket, new head gasket, new base gasket, new top end bearing, new wrist pin, uh, everything's new on the top end and, and it runs like it. it's absolutely perfect. Yeah, the previous owner dropped this off at a vintage shop, I believe in 2014, and had them basically run a tab and completely rebuild the motor and go through all the running gear and, and uh, all of that's completely documented. It sat in his collection, very few miles, put on a sense and we refreshed it when we brought it in in our shop. Actually, that's, that's incorrect. Um, zero miles were put on it. Bud, who's a friend of mine, who had this machine in his garage with his 68 Camaro and his other toys, he never started it. He never put gas in the tank once since he rebuilt the motor. We did that, so um, I had the, all the documentation on the rebuild, but it's never been ridden until it came here. It's been through three heat cycles and J Jeff broke it in properly and uh, he's been riding it around. I think he probably put a gallon or two through it before I got on it, but it's it's there's no miles on this motor. It's, it's, basic, it's, it's a brand new engine. You can see the cylinder uh, outside cylinder fin has been professionally polished, as has the engine case covers, the kicker, the um, just beautifully polished on the engine, um, on both the both sides of the motor are beautifully polished like oh, chrome. In the repaint, how much would it cost to replicate this? This is um, as good as it gets. You, a couple thousand dollars if you can get you guys, a shop to even do look this. Look at the eBay photos. The, the oh my god, this is just a freaking beautiful bike. Look, the, at the, look at the coating on the inside of the tank. That's, it's, it's, not, it's not one of those cheap hardware store coatings. What, is that POR? What, I don't know, but it, it's blue like the outside of the tank. So whoever did it really took, put a, a tremendous amount of uh, attention and detail to it. So Bud, had, Bud used Jeff as, as one of his uh, lead mechanics on, on most of his bikes in the last five years. So um, Jeff Went through, confirmed all the work was done properly, did the compression test, checked everything out, started it, tuned it, cleaned the carbs, and got it running beautifully, put new fuel lines on it. So it is a brand new motor, fully documented with all the receipts. It has new rear tire, new front tire. The forks have been rebuilt, new fork wipers, new fork uh, sliders, new fork seals, new fork oil. The brakes have been rebuilt. You can see the um, rotor on the front and caliper appear to be brand new. The front fender, chrome, the front fender is... Uh, and the chrome on it, it is in excellent condition. The, the uh, fork tubes are actually brand new. He actually replaced those, with new, new tubes. Um, has a new set of superbike bars on there, new mirrors, new grips. The levers look to be brand new. Uh, the rear tire is new, still has the hairy nubs on it. So th there's probably less than 20 miles on, on the engine, suspension, brakes, tires, and, and everything else. New battery. Um, I'll grab our work order to make sure I didn't miss anything. You can see the seat is new. The grab rail, it looks new, although it's the original. Just a, the nicest H1 we've had through the shop in some time. Uh, over $9,000 invested into it on top of the cost of the bike originally. Uh, there's, there's a small fortune tied up in this thing, but you know what? It's worth every penny. That feeling you get, listen to this thing crackle when you upshift or downshift or crack the throttle. It may cost a, a bit to get it. It's not going to be cheap, but that feeling is priceless. It's and like I said, intoxicating. The thing's an absolute rush to ride. Kyle, would you like to add any words of wisdom? I know you've seen a uh, uh, um, you know hundred bikes a month come through the shop in the last five years, so you've seen your fair share. Of yeah, this this one's definitely one that stands out above the rest. Uh, the attention to detail is unlike any other that we've had here in a while. Um, especially just the quality in the restoration you know anyone can polish a case but um, it really takes a professional to polish um, the covers or the cases to this extent I mean you look at them and there's there's straight perfection in them they're they're literally a mirror you know that that word gets thrown around a lot but in this case it's it's really true it, it, they're mirror finish they almost look like chrome and, and this is 
guys, make no mistake, this is a frame off restoration. The engine was moved, it was completely dismantled. The frame was sanded, uh, cleaned, and professionally repainted. So the, the entire bike, the, 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 you know, everything's been redone on it. It's, it's just a fantastic piece. The attention to detail that he's talking about too, if you look at the frame, the, the uh, point out some of this finer detailing on this thing. Yeah, like the hubs, you, you, you typically never see hubs polished like this i mean they're they're usually they're usually scratched up or you know you see corrosion on them because they take a lot of the abuse from the road and um you know the hubs take the abuse from all the road debris and salt or whatever so you never see hubs in the condition like this um like ken mentioned the outsides of the fins that's just a beautiful touch um it, it really takes someone that is detail critical to uh do that i would say I've been at the three biggest East Coast rallies this year. Daytona, half a million bikes. Americade, quarter million bikes, probably. I don't have the final statistics, but Laconia, probably a quarter million bikes. I've probably seen a million bikes this year. And I can tell you this, you can roll down Main Street in your brand new CVO turbocharged Dyna. It's not going to turn heads like this three-cylinder two-stroke will because before they even see it, they're going to hear it. And all you're going to see is heads turning because you just don't see these on the road. Most of these were crashed or ridden into the ground and people didn't know they'd become future collector's items. But uh, little details on this, like the um, steering dampener on this. This is a new steering dampener, so it has a lot of uh, uh, steer, steering dampening to it. Makes the bike stable at speed and um, helps control the, 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 the turning of the handlebars. Uh, the front hub, look at the front hub. That's been professionally dismantled, painted, uh, relaced, just just beautiful piece man i could ramble all day long but i'm going to fire it up one last time it's going to be on display in the japanese section on the third floor of the new england motorcycle museum where it belongs in a museum but uh, it also belongs on the open road uh, just attention to detail the, the the matching blue fuel lines with the brand new fuel filters the inside of the tank looks like brand new the motor's brand new inside and out it doesn't get any better than this the only way you could get better with this is an H2750 the same way, but even that, like I said, this is more of a joy to ride around town or around country roads. The 750 can be a handful. This one's just right, like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Even, even the uh, keychain is a period correct Kawasaki. This may be the original Kawasaki keychain. Fully documented, stacks of re uh, notes, pages of notes here on everything that was done. So, yeah. I wanted to note the odometer is not counting mileage. Yeah, I stuck at 7,000, which is a lucky number, fine by me. So um, who knows what the actual mileage is on it? I don't really know. Uh, the bike's, what, 40, 75? 46 years old. So, but it is essentially a brand new motorcycle now.